Hi, old guy in shed here. Uh, for this episode, I'm going to take you around the Bath and West show that I was at last weekend. Um, I'll leave you to enjoy the show as I saw it. Here we go. This is the Ducati stand, which is next to the uh, Guzzi stand. Uh, yeah, beautiful bikes, well displayed. I have to say that this was before the public were allowed in. The first part of this video, anyway. Um, and as you may have guessed, this is a voiceover because the sound in the hall is very echoey and it was just a bit noisy. This is the Husqvarna stand. Some really old stuff showing the heritage of the Husqvarna's where they made their money with motocross. Beautiful Kawasaki's. I say there's no good we keep saying this word beautiful. There, there weren't many bikes there that weren't beautiful to be honest. Um, the, the standard is tremendous. This is a huge stand of various bikes, a little MV at the beginning, through to Triumphs and Motor Marinis, everything you can think of were in here. And it, it was just beautifully done. This is the South Wales Sunbeam Motorcycle Club. And it, I didn't even know that there was a separate Sunbeam Club for motorbikes. I mean, it's incredible the number of people that have these wonderful clubs. These are the Velos right to the MV Augusta opposite. Okay, that was an auctioneer's and they're using the using it as a prop. But nonetheless, the bikes were fabulous. Just around the corner from the MV Augusta are these. A fantastic Norton stand showing the whole range of Nortons over the years. These bikes have been iconic to the British scene. There's just no way you can deny that. Um, I've had a few Nortons in my time. And then we've got Triumphs right next to them. I mean, like I say, it's a really good show. I haven't showed the, all of it. Just what I considered in the hall I was in, the nice stuff. Uh, beautifully presented. The guys, everybody's so enthusiastic about their own bike, their own mark. And it shows in the, in the uh, presentation of these... Uh, machines. Now just coming around the size of the hall it gives you some idea of how many bikes there are uh, at this particular event. I, By and large I stayed in the one hall to show you this video uh, just to give you an eye, a, a flavour of it um, but I did come out of it for one specific reason which we'll get to in a minute. This is the Bantam stand and I loved it. These lovely little bikes, all presented well. And when you consider these were just cooking bikes, these were bikes to take you to work, nothing spectacular. And now they've become little, little gems and a real good following for them. And it's such a strong club. I think it's great to see. I mean, okay, there are lots of better bikes, but none really more iconic. I mean, the little uh, D1 in the background there, they, the, the post office used to have telegram boys riding those things all over the countryside and they were just a great bike uh, which was uh, quite interesting how the club has maintained this sort of iconic view of itself. The uh, Modern Marini stand was a bit odd. They had this really um, unrestored bike there next to a fully restored version of the same bike really. Slightly different bike, but you know what I mean. Close enough. Same paint job, same era. Um, I have uh, Marinis, as you know. Or may know, I have Marinis. And I think they're a wonderful bike. The little 250 is a gem of an engine. That engine is a beauty. Um, right up to the three and a halfs, which are a really strong engine. They, they are, they're quick, they're flexible. They're a good piece of kit. Um, if, it, if any of you have ever ridden a Marini, well, hello sir, stand to attention. Um, right, sorry, the Marinis uh, have got a, their own place in the world, they really do. They're, they're a fantastic bike. And again, it, I, I am biased because they're Italian, and I'm always going to be biased because of that. Um, but when it comes to Italian, look what we have next. This is the uh, the. MV Augustas, 
mean, the, the money involved is fantastic. But, you know, you can't fault the, the style and the beauty of them. And the fact that they were basically hand-built, um, they're just fantastic. And their race record stands for itself, you know. You, you can't fault such a piece of kit. But to be very different, on the other side of the passageway, yeah, the walkway, we have this crazy bunch of bikes here. This is a, a Veloset. Um, then next, just beyond it, is this, uh, or to the side of it rather, is this vintage bike, maybe the flat tanker. It's, these guys must be nuts riding them. A uh, little Enfield there with the 2T two two, two stroke. Had one of those. The wife used to ride it a lot. Uh, to this nutter who has put a aerial leader into a bantam and called it a bleeder. Fantastic. This is the Perilla. This is in the, another separate little hall uh, which I went into. And this is the Perilla with a Beezer. This is where all the show, the real true show bikes were. And the best in show was here. And it is a stunning, stunning piece of work. You'll see it in a moment when it comes round. Uh, these are the really old vintage stuff. This is a bit old for me, I think. A bit old for me. I, I can look at them and admire them, but can't get enthusiastic. This is the best in show. It's a Perilla. It is a work of art. It is so beautiful. It is so stunning. I love it, but I will say, if I owned it, would I ever ride it and it, this is wh where I sort of fall apart with the show scene I like to ride my bikes uh, a lot of greaves in the show and there's a couple more and I don't know what it is but greaves suddenly have become very popular at shows there's a lot of them out there um, really enjoyed it seeing them um, then we come on to the guzzy stand there's my Falcone uh, resplendent in its red and white livery, the crazy ray gun exhaust, um, the California, all these guys, that Cali was actually ridden to the show. All of these bikes are ridden and I really like that about this club. They, they, they are riders, you know, and I think guzzy owners tend to be. Uh, there's my 250 um, 2T is there. The that one I've actually sold to uh, one of the club members. Um, he's very pleased with it. I hope, but I think he is. He said he was. Um, and it was a good stand and run. There it is. That's my old bike. Uh, it now belongs to somebody else. The, these guys are so enthusiastic. It's all run. All this show's run by volunteers. It's great. It's great to see a wonderful show to look at. Like I say, if you get the chance to come to them, you should really get there. This is an older Dola. Really nice, very usable bike. You can see it's used and ridden, which is great. Really is great. All the merch that they're trying to sell. Um, a beautiful little 75 in the background. And again, great to see. Hi, again. I hope you enjoyed that little trip round. It was only the one hall, there was lots of other halls. That was the hall I was uh, in with the Motor Guzzi Club. Uh, my bike, one of my bikes was on the stand, the Falcone. Um, it was a tremendous show. Uh, like I said, I didn't show all the other halls, none of the tools or the polishing gear or the food stalls. Don't need to see that. It's just a flavour to give you a taste of what I was up to last weekend. Um, stay tuned for the next episode. I've got some exciting, though devastating news. Hope to see you soon. Press the subscribe and like. Talk to you again, old guy in Shed saying bye for now.